The school building is incomplete, a project that began a staggering 12 years ago. Parents say they are being stonewalled by the Education Department and the Kucha Development Corporation. Several subcontractors have abandoned the project due to non-payment. Parents want an investigation. Is no people coming out for us or our children? Yes, yeah. And we don't get answers, so we're going to close the school today. Yeah. It's dangerous because one of the children can fall down there and get hurt, and the stuff can fall on the children also. So why can't they give an answer to the parents and to the, de the department must tell us what is a tight and what can these do on this? What is the Department of Education going to do about this? And I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of all the empty promises because it's come on quite a few years now. And this is the people, the SGB is the people who have to deal with the angry parents. And we're the ones who are throwing words at them. Because they, the people, go sit there and bring us the second information and we are so sick and tired of this, we want to get it out of the horse's mouth. Teaching and learning continues at the school. Children share classrooms, sometimes up to 50 learners per class. But there are numerous safety concerns within the building materials on site. Poor workmanship compounds the problem. A great one is coming up by the stairs and go over the railing and hang there and one of the teachers came and ran and grabbed the child and he almost fell down and I think that is that is why we want to build the school finish for that incident what if either something else is going to happen to our children. The school is not fenced and has become a hotspot for vandals. It's been 12 years since the school was built. This section of the school has beautiful classrooms ready for teaching and learning. Unfortunately several platforms just above me are broken and learners can't access these classrooms. Parents have vowed to close the school until the Department of Education addresses the issue. The Department of Education acknowledges the impasse between the contractor and the implementing agent creating the delay. The department spokesperson, Luis Opulamani, says outstanding payments have been settled and the negotiations are at an advanced stage to resume construction. The CDC says it is awaiting instruction from the Education Department to resume with the project. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Port Elizabeth. So for more on this story, let's cross now to our reporter Jade Lee Paulser, who is at the Rufain Duncan School this morning. Jade, good morning. So uh, quite a harrowing picture developing there, uh, but tell us what the situation is like this morning. Well, good morning, Sakina. Still a lot of very angry parents here at the school. I'm just going to step out of shot and paint the picture for you. This building just behind me was built almost 12 years ago, Sakina. And as you can see, it's standing derelict. Nothing has been done. And these children can't access uh, the buildings and access the classrooms. Several platforms are also broken on site. There are building material as well that are lying around. And the parents really want answers. But I've been in talks with the Kucha Corporation, um, you know, the CDC, as well as the Department of Education, and still very vague answers that you're getting. The Department of Education acknowledges the impasse. They know that there's been several subcontractors on site here at Dufayne Duncan School spoke to the CDC as well, the implementating agent um, who actually finds the subcontractors to come here, but there really is no tangible answers as to why the school is still standing you know, incomplete 12 years later. I'm just going to walk over to the SGP, uh, Jasmine Van Vogel, just to explain to us the severity of this building and also the effect that it has on learners who are still currently using uh, the premises. Thank you so much for joining us, Jasmine. Just take us back 12 years ago when the starting of the school and the building of it. I mean, it must really break your heart to see that the school is still incomplete after so many years. Good morning. It's now 12 years. They started school in 12 years ago and now at the moment it's 8 years that the site of the building is still standing like that. The, the parents is very angry because 
I am a, as a parent, I have two children here at school. And at this moment, you can see the parents are standing here because of the safety of the children. We can't put the children here in these classes. Uh, now when the school was open, we tried to put two uh, classes there inside the department came and they told us to t- take the children out of the school, out, out of that classes because the classes is dangerous. You can see the building. What if one of our children get hurt here in this, this buildings? You know a child, a child will go in and go in and take whatever they want and go up. What if the, one of the platforms is falling down on our children? Who's going to be responsible for that? That's why the uh, parents is so cross. Why can't this building, for now it's eight years, why can't they build us our, our building finished because we want our school to be finished and because this is a beautiful school and now we're losing children. We only have 653 children at the school. If this school will be finished, this school will be have more than the 1,000 children. It's, it's small children from grade R to grade 7. It's not a big school. It's not a, a high school. But we, the only thing that we as parents want, we want our school to be finished. So for the safety of our children, as I say, what if one of the children getting hurt here, who will be responsible? This is my, uh, my question to the people there inside. Who will be responsible for our children? Now, I know that you have been in talks with the Department of Education and you've sat down with several meetings, but where are the tangible answers? Why is the school not being completed? They can't give us any answers. That's why we go in, we close the, the, the gates, we go, she asks us to come in for a meeting, we go sit with her and everything that, the only thing that she will say, we must give a report in. We give so many reports in. We give now the last one in, there's still no answer for us. If this is going to happen again and again, the parents decide to close the gates again. And this is what we want. We want our, ch- our children to be safe and we want our building to be, to be finished. She... We only we go for, for the meeting, we sit with her, we, we discuss this, this matter, but there is no, still no answer. It's now a few weeks ago, but there's still no answer. We want an answer for our, for our building and for our children to be saved in the school of Ruffin Duncan. Now, when we spoke off camera, you also told me that when you were in talks with them, they did say there was, in fact, a budget. Can you just take us through those meetings that you had with the Department of Education and the budget agreement that was actually implemented and in place to complete the building? Last year, in 2019, they told us uh, there is no... uh, We are not in the budget of 2019. We asked them why we're not in in the budget. They told us there was no money for us for 2019. Now when we close the gates, they came back to us, they told us this year on 2020 there is money for Rufan Duncan in the budget this year. We want to know because we d- didn't give us an answer wh- what happened in 2019's budget, why is this school not in that budget, but why is this school now this year in the budget and if they are in this budget this year, will the school be completed? That is my question. Thank you so much, Jasmine. That was the SGB chairperson here at Rufain Duncan Primary School, Jasmine von Vogel, just taking us through the timelines. The school was built almost 12 years ago, and as it stands, it is still derelict. There are several platforms broken. It is not conducive for learning or teaching, and the parents are really just calling out for the Department of Education here in the Eastern Cape to come and assess the school and to give a budget. I mean, there was a budget apparently implemented in 2019 uh, to complete the building, but as it stands, Sakina, nothing here has been spoken about and there are very angry parents here who want to pull their children out of the school saying that it is not in fact a a proper school for learning or teaching and they want to take their children elsewhere. It's back to you in studio. What a story, Jade Lee Poulter out in Galvandale in uh, the Eastern Cape. And it's one that I do believe we should keep our eye on because there are answers to be had there. Um, What happened to the budget? Naturally, monies would have been paid, but who was that money paid to and why was the, house, uh, well, was the school not completed? It speaks to the package we played earlier about the building of houses in Lanasia as well. And these are the questions that need to be answered. And hopefully we will uh, gather the troops and go in search of those answers here on SABC. All right. For now, let's bring you a final.